Okay. Get into the vault. No, get out of the vault. Yeah. You want to show some little videos? Yeah, I have, a, a, I have one little video, and then we have some still images. Some of these, we just released the products. They're not exactly top secret, but kind of, it was well, a work in progress at the time. Whatever. So here is Behind us, the scenes. Here is us um, testing our Feather 2040s with the Teensy. Okay, Lamar, what is this? This is my RP2040 tester for the RP2040 Feather. Uh, we finished this up, and I want to show how the testing procedure works. I use a Teensy and the USB host, and this is really cool. I actually load the UF2 over mass storage onto here. This is my test jig, so I test uh, all the pin connections. We just milled this on our other mill. If I crank it down here and then press this button, it uh, loads the UF2 file, does a serial test, and it finishes testing two and a half seconds, which is awesome. Um, over here, we've got the Eagle CAD file for the testing jig. You can see I test alternate pins that are not uh, next to each other. And then this is the uh, Pico SDK code that I load onto the Feather to do the GPIO test. This is in raw C, so it's really, really fast. So two and a half seconds is awesome. Yes. Go test. Um, one weird thing. So I put this up on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I guess Gmail does this feature and then also YouTube does this now, when you're logged in and it's your account for YouTube, it looks at the comments and it has suggestions on how to what to automatically reply with. Yeah. And some folks had said, hey, I want to see the code. And all of the things already filled. If I click one button, it says, look in the description. Look in the description. No look in the description. Way. That's so yeah, funny. Because I guess it analyzes That's such enough. That's a common thing. And yeah. then so it had, no, I don't know. Look in the description. So anyways, if you want the code for that, it's in the description of the YouTube video, or you can look on the blog post for that. Okay, other things we have. Cutie pie that we were... Oh, the Cutie Pie RP2040. So on. I was uh, I actually finished these up and uh, just doing some testing and making sure everything was working. Um, but these are ordered. Very exciting. TCA4307. This is an older breakout, but we're going to finish that up real soon. And uh, it's, just a, it's a cool uh, I2C uh, bus buffer. Uh, it's a DVI breakout. It's not HDMI. It's DVI. Uh, I was going to use this with the... Uh, RP2040 stuff to get um, DVI video out to uh, displays that have DVI in. And uh, sadly, the STMPE811 is no longer being manufactured, but we're looking at other SPI or I2C. We just have touch controllers. Check out our uh, great search from a couple weeks ago. I think this is the TSC2407. I don't know. I don't want the port number. And then um, more experiments in NeoPixel keys. So what if we took four of those like Neo keys, put them side by side, and then we have like a, a seesaw to connect them to I squared C so we can make like I squared C plug and play stuff. I don't know. Cool. And then Rotary Trinky. Uh, next door neighbor to Neo Trinky. They're best friends. They used to play together as kids. Um, and now Rotary Trinky is uh, coming to life. Get back in the vault. That's in the vault. Okay. okay. 